everyone, in this video I have a mixed media art journal process to share with you with the Thompson's Craft Supplies design team with the April Cosmic Galaxy kit. Now let me tell you about something about this art journal spread. So when I start a project, most of the time I will have a very rough idea in my head of what I want to achieve. And most of the time it is a very basic, very rough, like just, yeah, but I keep saying rough idea, but that's what I mean, you know, just a vague what I want to achieve. Sometimes I have a very specific idea of what I want to achieve and then sometimes, such as on this occasion, I have no idea, no plans and I just go in there and just hope that something happens. And as such, the first three to four minutes of this video is actually me doing a load of stuff that I'm going to end up covering up. Now why leave it in, I hear you ask? Well, a couple of reasons. Firstly, I thought there might be a stage that I do end up covering up that some someone might like um, on the off chance and they might want to see how I got there. Also, it's good for maybe for some of you, especially people who are new to mixed media, um, to see how some of the inks and mediums and stuff behave. And also I just, I feel like it's good to show the whole process, you know? So that's why I've left it all in. So all I did at the beginning there, as per usual, my art, my art gesso pages were journaled. My art journal pages were gessoed. There we go, try again. And once uh, that was dry, I went in with Lindy Starburst sprays in Prima Donna Purple and Mad Hatter Mint and then some of the Lindy's Magicals in Magnolia Magenta some, you go, I, I showed it on the video and I'll link it as well and then I wasn't over happy with that although and so and I wanted it to be darker more spacey in space kind of thing so I went in with that um this is the worst stage with the Heidi Swap color shine in black and in amethyst and that is how it dried it looked great wet I will admit but look how it dried it's just awful really didn't like that but that's what I find a lot of the darker color colors of Heidi Swap do. The lighters don't do it so much. They tend to spread and spray nicely. But the darker colors, I'm going to be brutal here. Sometimes they're only really good for splatters. And they also dry so sticky. I'm sure many of you have discovered this. But Heidi Swap Color Shine, unless it splatters, does dry sticky. And it's a problem. But anyway, so as you saw, that dried, it just looked awful. Um, so I was like, right, we need to do something about this. So I got some acrylic paint, some black acrylic, and just splodged it all over the middle, kind of as you see there. Um, and also drying it, I don't usually show you the drying process because it's boring, but I thought it was interesting. Can you see there, especially on the left, when it started to dry, it kind of crackled. Like, who remembers that Barry M nail polish, like the crackle effect nail polish? It's like that. It looks like that. Now, I don't know why. I have two theories as to why. One, that acrylic paint is super, super old. Like, we're talking possibly 10 years old. I shouldn't admit that, but there we go. Um, actually, no, not quite, but it's still old, so that might be why it crackled. Also, it might be due to the sticky medium underneath and all the other in inks underneath. So I'm not sure why, but it did crackle and I thought it was pretty cool. Anyways, once the black acrylic was dry-ish, I went in with some silver acrylic. And as you see, I'm just being lazy and just squeezing it directly out onto my brush rather than putting it in a palette or whatever. And just adding that all over. And at first I was like, eh, yeah. And you know what? It doesn't look as bad as I thought it did or maybe it does I don't know but I just I wasn't happy and part of that was due to my, me not having the plan you know and I'm not saying that not having a plan is necessarily a bad thing some of my favorite things I've created I've gone in with having no plan at all but this time it took a while and this spread actually took weeks not in that it took weeks to of time to create but from the first the thing I did to the absolute last thing I did happened over a, a number of weeks. You will see many nail colour changes throughout this video. But anyway, yeah, stop blabbing, Grace. Um, That is some white acrylic paint mixed with water to do some star splatters, as I did in my video last week. And I'm just doing a bunch of those. I'm doing quite thick splatters as well with that. Now, just as an FYI, I have heard that for doing star splatters on like a galaxy watercolor or a galaxy situation like this white acrylic ink is really really good so if you have some of that then excellent um i do not have any of that so for now so that's why i haven't used it but just fyi for everybody out there apparently that's the best thing to use 
So, still not happy. This is a week, days, I don't know how many, how long later, but yes, I left it for a while. Just I needed to step away from it and try again. So, I didn't, it was just too pink and it looked like weird space slime. I don't know. So, I just covered up loads of it with a mix. Back to the Lindy's in Prima Donna Purple. Some Dilutions in Crushed Grape and some Dilutions in, 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 in After Midnight. And that I was much happier with. Just... It needed to be darker and yes so much happier with that and now we get to it properly kind of thing well you know we've got the background done so I wanted to use these stickers that I bought as an add-on for the kit I've forgotten the name brand name but I will link them for you if I can just these are, again I've, but yeah spacey themed stickers um, big phrase stickers and I'm using three separate ones but the first one is the big one that says follow your curiosity now these things here these watercolor things that I'm ripping up if you saw last week's video the mixed media cards these are the spare watercolor galaxies I made because I made six and I used three of them for my cards um, if you haven't seen that video and you're interested in the watercolor galaxy background and how to make that then check out that video I will link it if you're not interested in the card making that's fine just watch like the first five minutes or so I think will be the watercolor stuff but yeah so these are the spares from what I made last week and I know one or two of you might be going why you're ripping them up why ah but you know what I made them I do what I want with them and I wanted this by this point I had a rough idea of what I, what I wanted to create and I wanted like it to be quite ripped and messy kind of thing going on um because I think like the watercolor ba ga galaxies talking too fast slow down grace and stop referring to yourself in the third person um See, now I've just lost my train of thought. Anyways, yes, <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying. But anyways, I'm ripping them up and kind of using them as backgrounds for the stickers, but also showing like a decent amount of them as well. So yes, for the big one that says follow your curiosity and this one here that says go ahead and something, I don't know. And as you can see that I'm distressing the edges because I want that whole ripped messy effect. I'm kind of yeah, I'm dividing them up and then having them spread out. So the follow your curiosity is obviously all in one, but you can tell that the other parts that I've ripped and put on the other parts of the page belong to that same piece of card or that same sticker, if that makes sense. And again, what does that say? You never know what will... Yeah, so never go ahead, you never know what will be on the other side. That goes together, but I've kind of divided them so it's kind of ripped up and all over the place and that kind of thing no idea if any of that made sense but that's what I'm doing and again using my bits of watercolor galaxy there you go I said it right this time backgrounds to both be backings for the stickers but also just general you know you can see a decent amount of them um, they're not all being covered up so for the last sticker which I have forgotten what it says impossible my thumbs in the way I cannot read it but I'm distressing the edges of it impossible isn't a uh declaration it's a dare I think that's what it says um I decided not to rip that one up partially because I didn't have somewhere where I could really divide it um like I had with the others and I thought it would be nice to have like two of them ripped up and then one of them still solid anyways and then the the strips of the watercolor paper there are going partially across both pages as well so those are like my main things they are now down and for the most part it is now embellishing from now on so I'm using the washi tape from the kit which is absolutely stunning and just putting strips and rips of it on there I am encouraging it to stay stuck there with just a little bit of gel medium just because with all that mixed media and stuff going on washi tape isn't the stickiest substance on the earth and does have a tendency to peel after a while so that's why I put some extra gel medium on the washi not loads just a little bit so those stars I've put down apart from the paper clip one which is obviously not but those stars if you saw last week's video again I'm referring to it when I made the uh, the galaxy cards and I did put a star shaker in each one of them I had to cut a star shape out of each card and those are what remained so I decided to use them in this little project as well because I always keep stuff like that so and I quite like the way that they match like what else is going on on the spread as well so yes yeah, so they went on there with gel medium again um and then I'm doing well I put that paper clip star down there as well because I just really really like that and my last one I've used them all now sad face 
Um, but yes, I am taking some gloss gel medium and in like some of the little sort of crevices um, between like the paper that's been stuck down and stuff, I'm just putting down some glass glitter in midnight blue and purple something. I forget the colour, but yes, so just lump a gel down, pour it over the top, you leave it alone. Um, I did five little splats of that and some of them are more purple some of them are more blue just to make it more interesting and then those little stickers I was just putting down again they were from the kit I just thought they were super cute and just add little bits of interest and stuff so I added those each of them as well got a tiny tiny little blob of gloss gel medium on the back as well just in to encourage them to stay in place and then now because I'm currently obsessed with sequins check me out being into something that's kind of fashionable because you know like sequins are kind of in at the moment in the scrapbooking art journaling mixed media -y, whatever world and I'm very rarely up to date on things that are fashionable so yeah well done me but anyways <laughs> yes those are the Spiegel Mom scrap sequins from the kit and I'm just putting a load of those down individually with tweezers and a little bit of gloss gel and yeah I spent ages doing that obviously I haven't left it all in because that would be boring to watch but yes I put a couple of moons down because we're out in deep dark space so we're allowed more than one moon and then various other sequins and then this is the final thing I do I'm just taking some Lindy Starburst spray in Tibetan poppy teal and I'm actually just taking or is it Tibetan poppy teal it might be another color I don't know I will check it'll be in the description um, but yes, I'm actually just dipping a paintbrush into it just to put little bits of it where where the ripped white was, you know what I mean, like the ripped edges, they were too white and too stark for this, this spread, so I'm just sort of toning them down a bit by adding a bit of colour. So I added the Lindy's and then I'm adding a bit of silver spray and that's like a sort of a homemade ink, not really homemade, it's just a mix of a Caldo silver drawing ink and water. And I'm just putting a bit of that on there. I put a little bit more of it on the stars because it was really pretty. And then I finished off by splattering some of it all over the spread as well. And with that, I believe I am finished. So it finally came together after I don't know how many weeks, but I am pretty proud of it. It's kind of like, you know, I really like that sort of ripped look kind of thing it's not very neat but I am happy with it so here are some close-ups thank you so so much for watching as ever I will put as much information as I can in the description box do not know if there are any more kits available but we'll link if they are and other than that yeah please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and yes I am now going I hope you have a wonderful day wonderful weekend wonderful week whatever it is okay going bye